Hi guys and welcome back to another LucaVision video and I want to welcome each and every one of you straight back to my channel and straight back to another Eurovision 2024 National Final Reaction video. Now guys, today's video marks the very last release for Finland's National Final for Eurovision in Malmo 2024. That's right, UMK has delivered this season and I'm hoping that this final song is no exception. That's right, in today's video, judging by that title down below, I'm going to be reacting to Michael Gabriel and New Blue. And their song is called Vox Populi. Vox Populi? Vox Populi. In the grand scheme of things, the title of the song shouldn't be that hard to pronounce. And as always, guys, before I get cracking, I really want to know what you think about this track and where it sits in your top. Is it one of your faves? Is it one of your least favourites? Do you think it's a good representative for Finland or do you think it's a bit tacky? Let me know all of your thoughts down below. I can't wait to get stuck into your comments. It's you guys that really makes this channel thrive and I love to see your opinions. May they match with mine? May they not match with mine? That's the fun of the game. So without further ado, let's do this. Let's crack on. So say it with me now, folks. Enough chat. Let's react. Now the title of the track is called Vox Populi, which I can only imagine relates to the English Vox Pops, which in my line of work is very prominent. You're basically getting your audience's reaction to whatever it is you're selling. May that be a product, may that be a theatre show, may that be a song, the opinion of the people. So I can only imagine that's what this song is about. Who knows though, stranger things have happened. Maybe it translates to something completely different like cat food. I mean, very unlikely, but who knows? Let's go. Strong start. This is going to be absolute chaos. Everyone has an opinion what I am. Definitely box pop vibe. This song is unrelenting from the get go. I love the build. Send your greetings to those trying to limit my voice. <laughs> love that. All opinions are equally wrong. <laughs> I am loving the satire in these lyrics. Bloody love it. Also, I'm definitely getting rave elements to this track. This is a workout song. I could run to this. Love the second verse. It really picks up from the first. Oh, I love the second verse lyrics. How they're saying other people's opinions differ to other people's. Mentioning how some people can look at you and think, oh, you're wearing pink. Other people might look and say, oh, it's light red. Do you know what I mean? This song is just unrelenting, but I'm here for it. Vocally, it's not that taxing, but given the aesthetic and the vibe of the artistry, it doesn't need to be. Love this breakdown, but also build. This little kind of genre in, in the middle eight. This song is engaging and it's just enticing and I'm fully here for it. Vox Pop Bolly. Genre wise, it is madness. Lyrically, it is a song that needs to be out there, it needs to be heard. We are the voice of the people, yes you are. In a word, that song was absolute chaos, but it was bloody brilliant. So I won't lie to you guys, there's a lot there for me to try and get my head around. And on first impressions, I'm blown over in the sense that it is an absolute rave bop. But at the same time, is it so attainable for an audience when it comes to Eurovision? I don't know. I can definitely see it at Eurovision, but I don't think it's the kind of song that will do very well at Eurovision. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of like one of the songs that is just there to be there, to stand out, to make an impact, to make an impression and be memorable. But when it comes into racking in the votes, would that rack in the votes? Mm, ugh, I don't think so. I think lyrically, it's a song that needs to get out there. Vox Populi, we are the voice of the people. Everybody's opinions are equally wrong. I love how they're basically saying that somebody can look at somebody and think it's amazing and somebody else can look at somebody and think it's not amazing, but that's the whole point, which really is sustainable in this competition. You could look at a song and you could think it's amazing. Your friend could look at a song and go, oh, that's awful. That's the whole point of the competition. That's the whole point of these songs. And I think it's very clever what these people are doing because they are singing these lyrics. It's kind of like a, a film within a film within a film where you're given references and points about the film. I kind of feel like this song is the music equivalent of that. Very interesting, very intriguing when you sit back and think about it. I, I would love to go through that again and just look at the lyrics and see what they are saying from start to finish. But there is, there's so much going on, the chaoticness of the music, the lyrics which I really want to get into, and the music video is just quite literally out of this world. 
So yeah, I liked the song. I'm not entirely sure it's right for Eurovision, but I really like the song. But what I really want to know is, guys, did you like it? Is it one of your faves? Is it one of your least faves? Do you think it would do well at Eurovision? Do you think it would bomb? Let me know all of your thoughts down below. I can't wait to get stuck into your opinions. But that is all for me and all for this video. If you have loved UMK this year, please hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and that bell notification button, because I am due to do a top for this competition. And I want to know if my top matches yours. But that is yet to come. All this for me to say is thank you so much for watching. Please stay safe, look after yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Goodbye.